Now, days after the person of interest in the disappearance of Ella Goody was arrested, there's still no sign of the missing Scott woman. But there are more efforts to get more people familiar with the case. Megan Glover joins us live in Lafayette with those details tonight. Megan. It's been three weeks since Ella Goody was last seen, reportedly driving someone to Texas on I-10. Now it's here near the interstate where more eyes are being put on the case. Shining bright above I-10, drivers will see Ella Goody's picture. The new billboard campaign, part of an effort to bring the missing woman home. I did receive a call uh, from uh, someone who is was concerned about getting her on the billboard. And uh, of course, Bo is all about community. And so when I approached him with that, he had no problem for us to install this on I-10. And uh, and it does you know, help our community. We're all one big family. And Ella Goody's family and friends are also ramping up efforts to get the case more attention. Her presence, and when, you, when you're when you in a room with her, you're going to know who she is and, and, you're gonna, and her smile radiates throughout anything, even more than her personalities. And I think that anybody that has seen her in the last few days or weeks would remember her. The Village 337, part of a grassroots effort to bring Ella home. We really want to make this um, a multi-state uh, effort where we have state uh, organizations, churches, businesses, and in every one of these states, um, boots on the ground. Now I spoke with the woman responsible for the ad, Pamela Tebow, behind me. She says this is only the beginning. They're hoping to have more up between here, Texas, and Arkansas with hopes of bringing Ella home. Live in Lafayette, Megan Glover, KTC, TV3.